everyone, my name is Ashley Connors with the Fulbright Association, and I am here with Maryland Senator Crispin Holland. Senator, thank you so much for meeting with us today uh, as a Fulbrighter. Um, we're very grateful for you to have taken this opportunity to speak with us today on Advocacy Day, yes. which is at the start of the Fulbright Conference. Senator, you have a very interesting childhood, born in Karachi, raised in a foreign service family with your sister, who is a Fulbright scholar. Yes. You, you really have that international experience understanding and the ability to understand what kinds of interactions you can have with other Fulbrighters and with uh, people from other countries around the world. As you speak directly to Fulbrighters, please tell them what their members of Congress want to hear from them and learn about them, and also how they can demonstrate their value while they talk and meet with lawmakers. I saw firsthand the value of the Fulbright uh, program, uh, and it is a great um, investment for the United States and the people of the United States. In fact, I think uh, in terms of the benefits we get, Per dollar spent, um, it's one of the very best investments we can make as a country. We spend like over $600 billion a year uh, on the military. But if you ask folks in our military, they will tell you that they want us investing more money in these efforts to build people-to-people -people relationships, uh, diplomatic outreach, uh, development assistance. And the Fulbright program in particular um, allows for an exchange of people and ideas, and that is essential to our success. Uh, as I, I've been able to witness the Fulbright program in two different capacities. Uh, one is somebody who grew up in a foreign service family, but also as a member of Congress when I travel overseas uh, or meet Fulbright scholars from other countries here. And you know, the lessons I've learned is that this is a really important investment. So, you know, I got to witness this uh, growing up overseas because we have Fulbright scholars uh, visiting uh, Sri Lanka mm -hmm. when my uh, parents were in the Foreign Service there. The other testimony I would just reference is our, our top military officials. Uh, they always come before the Congress and say, um, yes, we need a strong military budget, a strong defense budget, but don't shortchange the foreign policy budget, including the foreign policy budget for diplomacy and people-to-people -people programs, uh, because ultimately, uh, if you have to use your military, it's because everything else has failed. And so let's invest more upfront to try to prevent conflict in the first place, to try to strengthen understanding. And that's what the Fulbright program is all about. The number of uh, you know, military aircraft or, or tanks that are produced, uh, it's of course harder to quantify um, or really grasp in a material way the benefit of better understanding. But you, you know it when it's there, and you know it when it's not there. Overall, over the arc of its history, uh, it has enjoyed strong bipartisan uh, support. Now, you're going to find some senators and some House members uh, who just want to cut all foreign assistance and all programs. Um, but they're in a minority. Uh, and uh, I think the good news is most people do recognize that uh, this investment um, very small compared to you know, the investment we're making in uh, national security and foreign policy areas generally. And so I think you have strong bipartisan support to start with. So the key is to keep reinforcing that, keep reinforcing that. And that is why it is important for um, both current members of the Fulbright program, but the alumni uh, to go meet regularly with lawmakers and reach out to them, just to constantly remind them about why this is an important investment. First of all, thank you all for your interest in the Fulbright program and for participating in the Fulbright program. I'm confident that you had a, a good experience and your experience helped um, all of us because you're helping to build bridges between the United States uh, and people in other countries. Um, and that helps uh, build understanding and building understanding uh, helps uh, avoid conflict and helps resolve conflict. So uh, thank you for what you're doing. You are the best ambassadors uh, for the program and your personal stories and 
testimonials uh, should be shared uh, with your members of Congress to remind them that this investment, uh, which is very small in the scheme of the federal budget, uh, reaps very big rewards uh, for the United States and building uh, more peaceful relations 